guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today's unboxing is Degusta Box for September 2022. Degusta Box is a UK based food and drink subscription box. So every month you get a random collection of products, generally worth around 20 to 25 pounds. A lot are brand new to market, products you just wouldn't expect sometimes. And that's what you get every month. So it retails at 12 99, but you can get your first box for 7 99. And like I said, that includes free UK delivery. I'll put a link and discount code under the video if you do want to sign up to this box. So in this video, we're going to have a look at everything that's in the box. We might just taste some things too. We're going to look at how much things are worth, where you can buy them from, what they are, what they do, what they taste like, um, as much info as I can give you really. So Degusta Box kindly sent me this box to review for you, but I have been a customer for many, many years. I actually get two boxes, one that sent me and one that I pay for myself. So that should kind of tell you what I think about the box. Um, in terms of my enjoyment, obviously I enjoy getting it. I've been getting it for years i love the sort of surprise element and trying new things and i've discovered lots of products that i really like through this box so it's a bit of a no-brainer for me the whole household looks forward to it arriving because if there's something i don't like somebody else hopefully likes it and between us we tend to make use of pretty much everything in here so let's get into this month's box i would usually unbox this as soon as the box arrives i've just come back off holiday so i'm just kind of catching up on unboxings and stuff so if you're somebody who usually watches me post this within a day of it arriving it's been a bit longer but hopefully you'll still find this interesting and get to see what's in here and what i think of all the products and stuff so this month's theme is back to school and relaxing evenings so i've got a card here that tells me about everything inside like i said where you can get it from all that good stuff there's also a series of money off vouchers which i'll kind of mention to you as we go through because they all relate to kind of different products and stuff that are in here there's also an advertisement for degusta box cold which is a one-off limited edition box it's not a subscription so this is a cold box so generally what this means is everything inside needs to go straight in the fridge and um, so you get different types of items i have had one previously i unboxed this last year i bought it myself put a card there if you want to go check it out i think i'm gonna get this as well so i can unbox it and just see what's inside it um so this one is worth over 22 pound the cold box and you can get it for 12.99 when using the early bird offer if not it'll go up to 13.99 once they've sold the first kind of 200 boxes or something anyway i'll put all the information underneath if you do want to get it i thought it was worth it last time like I said, I don't always love everything in the boxes. It's personal choice, isn't it? But there's enough in there where it's well worth my while getting it. So without further ado, let's jump into this unboxing. Otherwise, I'm in danger of just sort of talking all the way through it all. So the first thing I see here is a little curry pot. So this is by Cup Noodles and it's the Curry Katsu Curry. And it's number one in Japan, ready in three minutes. So katsu curry, if you've ever been to Wagamama, it's one of their top selling dishes. Gorgeous, gorgeous curry. I really like katsu curry and I think it's one of those that suits the palate of most people. It's got a bit of spice, but not so much that it's, you know, too spicy for a lot of people. So these are ramen style noodles and they're ready in just three minutes as well. And per 100 gram of prepared products, it's only 81 calories and it's a 67 gram pot. So it's even less than that. So it's really like a low calorie option as well, if that's something that you're interested in. So you'll either get one of two flavors. You'll either get the katsu curry, which is my preference, or five spices beef. So you don't get to choose which one. This just happens to be the one that was in my box, but this is what I would have chosen had I have had the choice. These retail at 175, which is quite a lot for a one-off lunch curry pot thing compared to other kind of noodle pots and things. Um, we'll see what it tastes like, it might be worth it. So it says, katsu curry. Curry is not just Indian. The Japanese also love this perfect combination of spices. The cup noodles katsu curry with chicken flavor and fine vegetables bring the authentic taste of Asia directly to your home or office. The five spices beef is a delicate noodle soup with a full flavor of beef and an irresistible combination of five carefully selected Asian spices and flavors. Soothing and taste it straight from the kitchen of Asia. And this is available in all of the major supermarket chains. One of our products of the month this month, and I love these. I haven't seen these for years, or maybe they've been there and I've just not noticed them, but these kind of feel like a bit of a retro surprise for me. So they are biscuits by BN. Now it says McVitie's BN. I didn't know McVitie's owned BN. Maybe they like bought them or something. But when I was at school, this is showing my age here a little bit, these were like the biscuits to have in your pat lunch and things. So it's really cool they've made a bit of a comeback. Or maybe, like I said, they've been here all along and I've just been missing them. But these are actually mini BNs. So these are strawberry flavour. I only contain natural flavours and colours. So that's pretty cool. 32 calories per biscuit, 20 biscuits, 
in five packs. So there's five little foil wrapped packets. So it'd be good for like a packed lunch or something. And then inside you get five of the biscuits. This is what the biscuit looks like. It's a little smiley face. And they're just plain on the back. They are tasty, just as I remember them. Taste a smile. Deliciously light, golden baked biscuits sandwiched together with a yummy strawberry flavour filling. Five packs of five biscuits, perfect for family adventures. I only contain natural flavours and colours, available in most major supermarkets. And they retail at a pound, which for five packs, I just think is really good value. That's just 20p a pack, so I'm happy to see those in there. The other product of the month, and one I'm even more excited to see in here, also BN by McVitie's, these are the chocolate flavour biscuits. These are the full size version, so it's 84 calories per biscuit, 285 gram. I have to ask, has anyone got the original tune from like the original BN biscuit advert going through the head? Because I have. Do, 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 do. They also retail at a pound and it says taste a smile, deliciously like golden baked biscuits sandwiched together with yummy chocolate flavour filling. I only contain natural flavours and available in most supermarkets. They are my favourite, the chocolate ones. But that's just, I'm a bit of a chocoholic and I prefer chocolate flavoured things anyway. Speaking of chocolate flavoured, we've also got some milkshakes by Nesquik. So these are the all natural chocolate flavoured milk drinks. Each carton contains 94 calories, made from 100% natural ingredients, 91% milk, and it's 380 ml cartons. They all have a little straw on the back. And these are paper straws as well, and they're sort of angled so that they go through that hole and just sort of pierce it. Super tasty, as you would expect. I like the fact they're only made from natural ingredients now, so it makes them a little bit healthier. I think I'd put these in my pet lunch, never mind children. These retail at £1.80, which is quite expensive for three small cartons. It says they're available in chocolate or strawberry, so you get one or the other. They're available at Sainsbury's and on Ocado. It says the great taste of Nesquik is now available in ready-to-drink cartons. Nesquik all-natural chocolate or strawberry milk drinks contain 91% milk and are made with only simple ingredients. Definitely a great way to get people drinking a little bit more milk as well, if you are trying to get your kids to drink more milk or something. Next up, a bit of a classic, we've got Horlicks, but this is a vegan version of Horlicks. Multi goodness, just add vegan milk of choice. Now, of course, if you're not vegan, you could add an animal milk if that's your preference. We do get a 500 gram container, so it's a huge kind of full size. This retails at £3.49. It's available at Asda, Tesco, Morrison's, Amazon, or on horlicks.co.uk. Enjoy the deliciously creamy, multi-taste of Horlicks. Enriched with vitamins and minerals, but without the dairy. Add your favorite hot alternative milk, and they recommend oat milk, which is probably one of my favorite alternative milks, to be fair. Or make it cold by mixing in a shaker. Also using delicious bakes for a multi twist. Take a moment and enjoy. Now I do like the original Horlicks, so I'd be intrigued to see how this tastes, particularly with like a milk alternative. My husband is dairy free, he's got an allergy to dairy, so he tends to drink like soy milk and oat milk and things like that. So we always have them in the house. I actually have oat milk quite a lot in coffees and things, so I just think it tastes better than regular milk sometimes. And yeah, so it'll be interesting for us to try this and see what it's like. There's also a 50 pence off Horlicks and it's off the whole range. So if you would rather just have a regular Horlicks, you can get 50 pence off that. Um, or if you would like another vegan one, you can get that. You can get it off the Instant Horlicks, whatever that is as well. And you can also get it off the chocolate jars too. Next up, we've got another drink. This one is from Good Earth and it's the Kombucha pomegranate and blueberry flavour. It's organic, made with live cultures, low in sugar and natural ingredients. Now I have already tasted this, I've already drank a can in the other box that I've got and I like it. Now I like to drink kombucha for the kind of benefits of it. So it's supposed to help things like gut health, it's got live bacteria, that kind of stuff and it's supposed to be really good for you. The problem with kombucha is, because it's basically fermented tea, it quite often takes on a little bit of a vinegary taste or a lot of a vinegary taste in a lot of cases. Even expensive high-end ones do kind of struggle to distract from that taste a little bit, which obviously isn't for a lot of people don't like that taste. Anyway, this is actually a really, really good option. So much so that I'm looking at using the coupon we've got here to buy some more. So there's a coupon in here that gets you 25% off on the Good Earth website. If you want to go ahead and sort of stock up on the drinks, it's a really good offer that I think 25% off. So like I said, we've got pomegranate and blueberry. It does taste like pomegranate and blueberry. It doesn't completely take away the taste of the kombucha, which is like I said, almost a bit of a vinegary taste, um, but it does still tastes nice, it's still a pleasant drink, and it's more of just a hint in the background rather than a smack you in the face. This tastes awful. So 
it depends what you enjoy. I'd be interested to know if you have tasted this, what you thought of it, and whether you've tasted kombucha before, if you're sort of familiar with that taste, or whether it was a shock. Because I think for some people, if you don't know what kombucha is, if you've never had it before and you just drink it, you're gonna be like, what the heck's up with this drink? Why, why are they sending me a vinegary drink? But actually, if you know what it is and you want the benefits of it, then maybe you can be a little bit more forgiving with it. Or you might just hate it, but let me know either way. It's a 250ml can. These retail at £1.60. They're available on Acado, WH Smiths, and of course the website, which is goodearth.co.uk. Bursting with a refreshing splash of our pomegranate and blueberry juice, this specially brewed kombucha is packed with natural wow. Using the best black teas, we lovingly ferment our kombucha with live cultures to create a unique kick then we've got a sauce but it's something a bit different so it's by a brand called oceans halo which is completely new to me and it's the spicy korean barbecue soy free sauce spicy gangnam style sauce this organic kelp based sauce gets its flavor from red jalapenos and sesame tahini it's great for barbecue dipping or marinades and it's vegan and it's irish organic association certified as well interesting so this is 355 mil now i would say we do get a lot of kind of sauces cupboard based essentials and stuff in this box so take that into account if you're thinking of getting it whether that's something that will suit you but sometimes it gives us a little bit of a twist on our usual dinners we are like a family that kind of have like a routine of right it's chicken dinner night it's spaghetti bolognese night that kind of thing every week and eat the same things over and over again i have found since we've started to get the gusto box that sometimes we will use one of the sauces or the packs or whatever it is in here and just have a completely different experience and that's a really good way that we've discovered sort of new things we might not otherwise have tried so this retails at four pounds as well so it's quite high value it's available at asda and in independent stores it says this organic kelp based sauce gets its flavor from red jalapenos and sesame tahini great for barbecue dipping or marinades pretty much what i've already read it's also soy free gluten free and certified vegan next up something brand new from heinz now i think this is a really interesting looking product when i first looked at this i was like huh i've never heard of this before so it's veg hoops so it's like the traditional spaghetti hoops except these are made with carrot and cauliflower in a smooth vegetable sauce so it's kind of like a pasta that's sneaking in some hidden veggies particularly good if you've got kids or adults who don't eat enough veg so it says 30% more veg. It's also vegan, low sugar, and a source of fiber as well. The can serves two people, so it says. And I've not tried this yet, but I want to because I think it sounds like a really interesting idea. It's a 400 gram kind of full-size can with a ring pull on top. Now it says this retails at 125, which seems a little bit high. I'd like it more at sort of 80 people and everything's gone up in price, hasn't it? So it says good pasta, good times. Heinz hoops are a family favorite. These are no different. Only these are loaded with 30% more veg, making it easier than ever to get your fix, just with that added bit of fun. We're available at Tesco, Asda, Sainsbury's, Morrison's and Waitrose. Then we have got this little pack. Now, you'll get one of two of these. So you'll either get the Pasta Linguine Angel Hair or the Lasagna Rice. Now, I got the Lasagna Rice in my other box. This box, we have got the Linguine Angel Hair. Now, I think I'll probably use this more than the other one. It's made from hearts of palms so it's like a healthier version of pasta if you like so it's 20 calories per serving four grams of carbs non-gmo project vegan gluten-free and kosher and sugar-free and only 20 calories per serving and all that kind of stuff now i think this is super duper expensive but i think that's because of the ingredients and the fact that it's supposed to be super healthy and stuff the pasta retails at 4.49 and then the lasagna is 4.99 i mean it's a crazy amount of money i think it depends how many people it serves three servings so three servings per pouch so even serving three people i think that's a crazy amount of money for a one-off pasta that you're gonna have to then put with something else so i don't know how how many of these are going to sell but it's nice to be able to try them in the box because i sure as heck wouldn't be able to pick them up at that price point so it's just you can actually use Augusta 10 to enjoy 10 percent off all of the palmini products available on amazon europe you get one of the products in your box it's available on amazon and planet organic it says palmini is a delicious pasta rice and mash alternative made out of hearts of palm when this nutritious plant is cut and cooked in the proper way you'll hardly notice the difference low calorie low carb and sugar free it's perfect for a healthy light and balanced meal next up we've got a mayonnaise from dr wills this is the all natural classic mayo sugar free makes food better it's won a great taste award it's free range egg yolk sugar free all natural 
So this is actually made without any artificial colours, so most mayos I think must have artificial colours in. And it says no gunk, no junk, just naturally tasty. And as I've said, it's sugar free as well. It's made in the UK. It's a certified B Corporation and it's a recyclable jar. So they basically use other ingredients instead of using preservatives and instead of using sugar to make it a bit healthier. So they use things like lemon juice um, in there, I think, just to kind of balance things out, make it taste maybe a little bit sweeter. I'd have to try and see what it's like. They made a tomato sauce, which you got in a previous Augusta box, and it was quite good. It didn't taste identical to a really sugary one, but it was a pretty close run thing. You could get used to the difference, I think is what I'm trying to say. You'd notice the difference, but you could get used to it because it was a lot healthier for you. So you'll either receive the classic mayo, like I've got here, or you'll receive the chili mayo, which I think I'd have preferred. It says our mayonnaise recipes are sugar free and are packed full of quality ingredients carefully chosen by us for the best possible taste. So each bottle provides a truly natural dollop of flavour. I'd have said it was a jar rather than a bottle, but there we go. Then we've got like a healthy snack pack from Urban Fruit. This is Wellness Glow. It's worth £3 for this tiny pouch, but that's because it's packed full of fruit and it's an 85 gram pack. It's blended fruit bites made from mango, pineapple, acerola, cherry and turmeric and this is a source of vitamin C. It says with 266% of your recommended per 100 gram of vitamin C, vitamin C contributes to the normal collagen function for the normal function of the skin. It's just fruit and veg, nothing else. So super duper healthy. Available in Tesco or online at Amazon and Ocado. It says 100% natural with no artificial ingredients. Urban Fruit Glow uses carefully selected fruits to deliver a delicious tropically fruity flavour while also providing you with a natural source of vitamin C. Just fruit and veg with no added nasties. Grab your bag today. So we got a bag from this range in a previous box, just like a different kind of flavour combination. They're nice enough. You have to kind of get past the texture, I would say. I'm going to show you what I mean in just a second, but they don't look visually appealing. The texture's a bit weird but they actually do taste quite good and they're obviously really good for you. I don't think I'd pay £3 for them. I don't think you kind of get enough in here. However, I do understand that dried fruit is expensive. When I've bought other dried fruit type products before, I know they're expensive. But for me, it's just not something I would repurchase. But at the same time, I am still happy they're in here and I will enjoy them and feel less guilty snacking on these than perhaps other naughtier things I could snack on. So this is what they look like. They are literally just smushed up fruit. So I guess it makes sense that's why they look like this. And if you're trying to make a product and not add a load of unnecessary ingredients, you're going to have to leave it like this, aren't you? So it reminds me of like if you've made a really healthy at home cereal bars or granola bars or something and then you've cut them up, it, they kind of look a little bit sad and they're quite sticky too but like I said the taste is there it's just if you can get past all of the rest of it pop it in your mouth and you do get that burst of I've just bitten into some fruit I mean it's nicely blended and it's a nice taste like I said it's just the sort of texture and feel and look of the product that I have a bit of an issue with which makes me kind of not as keen to jump out and buy them as I might other products if you see what I mean so I'd really like to know if you've tried this or any of the other products what your thoughts are on them because that's just my opinion of course Last but not least this month, we have got a bottle of like a pear cider. Now I don't drink, but my father-in-law does and he enjoys the many kind of ciders and wines and bits and bobs we get in these boxes. Like I said, I always know somebody who will appreciate it. So it's 4.5% alcohol by volume, 330 ml, 1.5 units if you want to know that. And it says it's particularly good when paired with cheese and preserves. Ooh. Made with 100% orchard picked pears. Years ago, you used to be able to choose not to receive alcohol in your Degusta box. Now everyone just kind of gets the same. So again, something to kind of bear in mind. This is worth 220. It says prices can vary between 180 and 220. It's available at Waitrose and on Amazon Prime. It's in a glass bottle. And it says more like a wine than a cider, Scully Packham's Triumph Perry is a medium dry perry with honey, caramel, and subtle elderflower notes. It contains no added sugar flavorings or concentrate, 100% natural, gluten-free, 100% vegan, lowering calories, and B Corp certified. There's also a money off voucher here for the Dr. Will's range. Um, if you want anything from that range, same as the mayo I showed you before. Forgot to show that when we were looking at that bit. There is also a voucher here for a free scully so if you want another cider you can go and take that um, and go and get that from morrison's tesco or sainsbury's there's also like a little leaflet thing with lots of recipes and things in 
So like I said, there's a link and discount code under the video if you want to get your first box for £7.99. That's a £5 saving and you can cancel at any time if you just want the one box. How do I feel about this month's box? Obviously I'm more excited about some products than others, that often happens. It's probably one of the my least favourite boxes if I'm honest. Um, surprisingly, because there are still quite a few things in here I will enjoy. But it just didn't quite hit the mark for me this month. I think I was slightly disappointed when I opened it actually and as you know I like to be really honest on this channel with everything I unbox and yeah it just wasn't as exciting but that's fine I'm looking forward to next month and we'll see what we get then like I said let me know what you think of this month's box like I said it wasn't my favorite but it might be your favorite we all like different things and depending on what you like is whether you'll enjoy this box I guess so I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up it lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing and I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.